Hey girls, I want to show you how to use Tiny Torch to your advantage. Tiny Torch is amazing if you have multiple parties going. You've maybe you've got your VIP group, you've got your business page, you've got all this stuff going, and you're like, how do I do it all, Amy? How are you posting in 10 places at once? Which you might be feeling at this point in time right now on November 4th, 2016. So I wanted to just quickly show you what I do. I only have five minutes to show you. It's gonna be pretty quick. Okay, so I'm gonna share my screen and just walk you through Tiny Torch. If you don't have a Tiny Torch account, you'll want to go set one up ASAP. Okay? So here we go. And there we go. Okay, here we are with Tiny Torch. Now, you, I'm trying to figure out how this is going to work. Let me just minimize that. Okay, so this is Tiny Torch. This is a home screen of Tiny Torch. Once you log in, you can see that Tiny Torch actually is in collaboration with Jamberry. So they have all of these photos from Jamberry's Flickr account in Tiny Torch already, which is super helpful. So if you just need some quick post, I need to grab something, I need to post something to a party, what can I post? I don't want to download anything, go to Tiny Torch. It's got everything there. You can just grab a post and be like, oh yeah, I want to share the new style box. Click it, click share, and share to a party. So let's start with the basics. So you're going to want to have an account. So over here, you're going to go to, um, well, you're probably going to already have a, an account. So this is like profile, social accounts. You actually want to first make sure you have your social accounts connected. So let's go to social accounts. So you guys can see that I have a ton, I have 13 accounts um, that are set up right now. So I have my VIP group, I've got my, um, our team page, I've got my boot camp, and then I have a crazy amount of parties open. And then I have that, um, our mock party. So I have events and groups. Um, you can do your Facebook profile. You can do your business page, you can do events, groups, and Twitter, which I don't have Twitter. I don't think that it would be all that great for January, but you know. So we're gonna talk about this. I have the deluxe or premium, whatever version of Tiny Torch. Um, you can get the free version, but the premium, I believe, is only $4.99. Um, I have it for free, so I have no idea how much it costs you, but I think it's only about five bucks. So, um, they just increased it from 10 social accounts to 15, which is amazing. Totally need that. So here's your social accounts. You just click on this, you click Facebook event, because you should be doing events for your parties. And then it shows up all your parties. Now it even puts parties here that I am not a host of, but just make sure that you look. And this fabulous new feature right here, you can actually type in something and search for a party. So I'm gonna search for that. So look, and it brought me Carrie's party. It's already connected, so I'm good to go. Um, if I wanted to search Melanie, so I can just click on this, and then it's there in my list and connected to Facebook. So I'm gonna show you my posts. Okay, so here's a bunch of my posts. I've got party stuff. I've got sneak peek stuff. I just have tons of different things. Lots of posts that I've created. Okay, so you can create a post. You want to click single photo. Currently, multi photo works, but it plays a slideshow. They're trying to get it to where it'll just post the photos as photos. But for now, it'll post a slideshow, which is actually a pretty cute idea. You can also do the link post. So you saw back there, you can actually have a link like to your application video or something. So what you want to do is browse your files and find a picture. And this is pretty basic. So I, this is just the first thing that's popping up. So here we go. And then I'm going to type a little message, blessing bags. It would be longer than that. Then you can add a label. So labels help you. Like It's like a hashtag. So I'm going to type in blessing. And then click enter, bag, enter. 
um, donation, enter, stuff like that will help you find it better. You don't have to do that. Um, sometimes it just helps. Category, I don't put it in a category. It's not add to collections. Uh, collections are like a collection of things. Like if you wanted, and I don't really use them, but it's like if you wanted all your party posts in something. What I do use is campaigns. That's what I think you guys, this is what I'm trying to share is campaigns. So I have the seven day party here and that is old. I will show you why I don't use it anymore. So now I do by day. So we've got day one, day two, day three, do them all by days. So this right here that I'm making isn't really anything that I would add to a campaign per se. Um, so I'm not going to, I'm just going to save my post. But if I wanted to add it to, I would just click it. I'm just click. So control and click. Okay. Save post. Then I'm going to go show you campaigns. Okay. So you get into your campaigns here and I have a lot. So you're going to see, let me just zoom in. This would probably help you see it better. Okay. So we've got my seven day party. I had 57 posts. This was everything. This was from pre part. Actually, no, it was just from day one to like the end end, like reminding people to order and stuff. So I decided to break that down. It's a little bit more manageable. I can adjust things by days better, see it all better. So I have day one. So this is my day one of the party. There's just four posts. It's my intro, application tools, a fun little game to get everybody excited, and then telling them about party prizes. So I just go and I click schedule. But before that, so when you first add these to a campaign, this is not going to have any day in it. It'll just say day. So you want to change it to day one. The time will also just default to midnight. So you want to go in here and make sure you set a time. Now I try to do my morning posts sometime early in the morning. <laughs> and then I post again either at lunchtime or like right after work. So four o'clock is a good time. People are on Facebook. I notice less and less that people are on at lunchtime. So I suggest early in the morning before lunch and work and school, or <laughs> before work and school, and then like four o'clock. So then here we've got after dinner. So after dinner is best. And Tiny Torch is great because I can't be online all the time. We're like, you know, I have a kid and he wants to do something. And so we do stuff. And if somebody responds, yes, I see it, but I don't need to, I don't have to take that time to like go and try to post something. So right here, you just select which party you want to post it to. I'm not going to right now. And then you select a start date. So, Hey, today's the first or Sunday's the first day of the party. I am going to schedule this for Sunday. So actually her party starts Sunday. So I'm just going to go ahead and schedule it. So it starts Sunday. Um, I'm going to show you real quick though. She's two hours ahead of me, but it's a Sunday. So I'm going to post at like six something my time. And then the mid afternoon one for her, I'm going to post at like two because it's going to be four o'clock her time. This is why I love having my campaigns per day. So I'm going to change this to five. It'll be seven her time. And again, 545 will be seven her time. This is before I make dinner. So I'll be free. If somebody comments and we want to chat, like I'll be free at five to go talk to my host and say, Hey, party starting. So then I'm just going to schedule this because it is actually starting on Sunday. Might as well do it. Schedule it and schedule. So there we go. I have scheduled a campaign and then I can go back and schedule the next campaign for Monday. And I do it like this because sometimes I have posts in here that um, like this one is specific to Monday right here. I say Monday and this will work perfectly because I like to do my parties starting Sunday and ending Thursday. So I, that's how I have my campaign structured, but I flip them around here and there um, when I need to. So those are campaigns. And then we've got some after party posts. So day seven, I call it day seven because sometimes I have to have six days in my parties, not five. 
And so I've got the little morning. I remind them with the party specials. You can see that it has my party specials in there. So I remind them, hey, today's the last day to get your party specials. And I remind them later in the day. And just some different fun, unique things that happen after the party is technically over. Okay. So that is the basics of how I use Tiny Torch. Then here you can go look at your scheduled posts. So let's take a look at that. So today I have, Amy is on day two of her party. So I am reminding everybody that my little early bird special ends today. And then I've got this later. I'm doing the bookings training in our team page and then scroll down. This is actually telling my next party of my party special. And then I've got another party thing. This is another whole separate party, which is a reminder to order. So as you can see, I have tons of different parties, things scheduled to parties. And then we've got sneak peek coming right here. So I have like six different, maybe six, probably six, I think, different um, campaigns scheduled at the moment for different parties and groups and places. So that's how that works and let's see here so yeah um, then you can go to your posts you can just go you can look through things oops so that is how I use tiny torch so I hope that that helps and let me know if you have any questions about tiny torch um, it's fabulous. It helps. It saves me hours and hours a day. Like there's no way that I could post that much stuff. Just no way. I mean, I keep it simple per party, only three or four posts a day per party. Um, and three or four a day in like team page or whatever that I'm doing, if I'm running a training or whatever, I still keep it simple, but it's so many different posts. You know, I'm running 10 parties a month. And you multiply that by how many posts I've got, that's, you know, 70 posts per party. It's 700 posts in a month for my 10 parties and then the team page and everything else. There's no way. So take some time and establish a system. Establish your Tiny Torch, get it set up, set your campaigns up, and look at our party script and set your party script up in Tiny Torch. It's simple. It makes life so much easier. Let me know if you have any questions and good luck.